fashion, searching for America's hottest new fashion stylists. I'm Eva Pickford, and tonight we continue our search for Hollywood's next red carpet trendsetter as three more contestants compete for a spot in the next round. Each week, I'll assign them a theme, a model, and send them to Century 21, New York's best kept secret. Well, they will have 45 minutes to choose us. Fashion stylists say, cool, the items they best think represent their vision and personal style. Then the contestants will conduct an on-location photo shoot. And in the end, there will only be one. One winner. One person that I will tell. Baby, you got style. The competition will be fifth. So hey, let's see who's got stuff. Hey, my name is Siobhan. I'm from Chicago. Hello, my name is LaMonica Peterson, and I'm from Kansas City, Missouri. Hi, my name is Kaylin Johnson. I'm a lawyer here in New York. I don't go by a lot of trends. I said I embrace trends, but I don't let them define who I am. My main objective is to represent black women in the fashion industry in a more positive light. I am a little bit older than some of the other contestants, and I have a definite opinion about fashion. I mean, I love luxurious things. I think you should always have like one luxurious piece like that. If I see something that I like, I'll definitely try it, but I like to do my own thing. I love hip hop, I love rock and roll. I, I just, I love everything. I'm like just a melting pot. So I have my own, my own style. I've always been, you know, really colorful. I love color. I like classic things, I like vintage things, I like trendy things. Color represents power to me. I think what I bring is some maturity. And um, the main objective is um, to represent black women, African American women in a positive light. I would classify my style as urban luxe. I have had an opportunity to wear a lot of the designers that most people are reading about. Kaylin, she's 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 like she she's not really on the same level as me, but I can I can identify more with where she's coming from. LaMonica, she's She's like a little kind of out of touch with um, designers. The women are very classy and I love, that's, that's kind of what inspires me too, is you know, people who have their own style and would touch a class and I, that's what I see in the competition. I don't think either one of them are any competition or anything that I should worry about because I think that I have the capability to reach the masses. I have the capability to, to make people fall in love with me. This is basically um, a crossroad that I'm at. A few days ago, I um, experienced the loss of my father. I'm basically doing this for him. I'm ready to, to make an impact and let America see me, and embrace me, and fall in love with me. We have our challenge letter from Eva. It's time to begin your challenge. Your challenge is to style and art direct a photo shoot that portrays the theme, Beyonce Baker. Beyonce, Beyonce. Baker? <laughs> Okay. As you know, Beyonce Knows is one of the top-selling female recording artists of all time and is an international superstar. She is also an actress and all-around great performer. She has a very specific style that she and her mother, Tina, have crafted over the years. Like Beyonce, the legendary Josephine Baker was a singer, dancer, and actress at the top of the industry in the 1920s and 30s. Often referred to as the Black Venus, Lay Baker broke down racial barriers in entertainment with civil rights activism, paving the way for modern day superstars like Beyonce. Lay Baker was a style icon of the 1930s. Your job is to merge the styles of Beyonce Knowles and Josephine Baker, updated for a 2006 red carpet. Use your imagination. That's a challenge. That's crazy. Use your imagination and your personal vision of style to show us what that means to you. Keep it fresh and modern. You don't have much time. I hope you can get into it. Good luck. <laughs> You're gonna need yeah, some all the okay. luck. We're here at Century 21, New York's best kept secret. 
love to shop here because you can find designer fashions 25 to 75% off retail prices. I'm Bevy Smith, and I'm a fashion editor and lifestyle expert. I'm here to help the contestants as they make their decisions for the shoot. They're all upstairs shopping their little hearts away. I'm gonna go upstairs and see what they're working on. Come on. Hey ladies, I'm Bevy Smith and I'm your style den maven. I'm here to help you as you make your selections for the shoot. This week's theme is Beyonce Baker. We're channeling two divas, one from modern day, Beyonce, and one from the 1930s, Ms. Josephine Baker. This week, you will have 45 minutes to make your selections. You will only be allowed to pull five items plus three accessories. I'm here to help you as you make your selections. So don't be afraid to like turn to me for a little direction. I'm going to be right there on your heels. I'll come in and just really help you pull your look together. I can't give you too much. So it's really up to you guys to really pull it together and show us why you were chosen to be on the show. Remember that you will have to defend your look to the judges. So that means don't play too much to Beyonce and leave out Josephine Baker and vice versa. Because you have to bring these two looks together. They must smash seamlessly together. I'm trying to figure out what the theme Beyonce Baker means to me. It means slick, sophisticated, but a little wild. I think this theme is very interesting. Um, I think that uh, the 1920s was a beautiful era, and I think Beyonce is very classy. Oh, I'm so excited about the theme. Beyonce Baker, um, basically because these are two women that are like empowering, like they were like the epitome of sex, and I mean sexy. Oh my God, I love Beyonce, who does not love Beyonce? Josephine Baker, she definitely paved the way for Beyonce. What do we have here, dear? Okay, this is what I have so far. Okay. I have a nice mink wrap. I'm wrapped up. <laughs> oh, this is lovely. I mean, I love I'm, it. I'm just going for like. I think that this is really a unique piece. I love it. It's really old school. Now, what I'm not seeing here is a Beyonce feeling. I'm not seeing your Beyonce moment yet. You're not seeing my Beyonce moment. I'm not seeing your yet? Beyonce moment because you have to remember Beyonce is who when she's on stage. Who is she when she's performing? She's Sasha. She's Sasha. I'm not really seeing Beyonce. Okay. So find me Beyonce. Oh, okay. find me Sasha. Put you on a good, good, good path. Okay, I thanks. like it. My point of attack is to look for strong pieces that I can build from. I'm going to key into the sexiness and the sultriness of uh, both Beyonce and Josephine Baker because I think that's something that they have in common. My strengths are that I am a discount shopper, so I've shopped at Century 21 a lot, and I know that there are great finds here. You just have to dig around and find them. Hello, dearest. Hello. How are you doing? Oh, uh, I'm feeling a little hairy. Well, let's just see what you have. I'm okay. thinking about this dress, but I'd like to do a dress, a pair of slacks, or a skirt. This is gorgeous. Love this, love this. Here's my fur. I'm, I love this. I think this is a really, really great jacket. I think it adds a lot of um, modern kind of appeal to your look, but I'm not really feeling Beyonce from what yeah, I see right neither. here. Thanks. You have to be really careful that you're not styling for you. I don't know that you really captured the spirit of Beyonce. You have to keep in mind who Beyonce is and how old she is. She's 25 years old. She's a performer. When she's on stage, her name is Sasha. She is sexy. <laughs> she is a vixen. I wouldn't say chuck the whole thing, but I would say let's like get in on that Beyonce moment. Because you've got, you've got the class act part down. You've got Josephine Baker down. But even Miss Josephine Baker, you know, she oh, was yeah, a flapper. She was, she was racy. She was, you're right. She was topless. Right. She's my baby. Thank I got, you. I got faith in you because you got a good eye. <laughs> Thank you. I'm just a little nervous about being on camera. That's not really my, I'm more of a behind the scenes type of chick. So basically what I'm trying to do is find pieces that I know Beyonce would like and pieces that I know Josephine would like. I found some really nice pieces, like this beautiful, beautiful dress. It seems cheesy and cowboyish, but I love it. See, Beyonce likes to wear pieces that have all kinds of, she's really elegant, and her and Josephine Baker have a lot in common, actually. Can we stop taping for a second? Can we stop? I, I'm not, I'm not, I don't, this is not happening for me. I'm not, I can't do it. I can't, I'm not a, like, this is not, I'm, I'm under a lot of pressure, and I don't like it. 
Like, I feel like I'm not the person for this because I don't feel like I can do, I'm just, I'm just an artist. Like, I don't, like, the whole talking to the camera while I'm doing this. I'm not a cheesy person. This is not me. La Monica felt like this was misrepresented to her. This was not the challenge that she signed up for. She felt that, you know, she didn't know it was going to be such a contest. She said that she wasn't into cleavage bearing outfits and she wasn't going to sell sex. She wasn't going to show breasts. And so she was kind of ready to be done with the whole program. We talked her off the ledge. We convinced her to stay. <laughs> really? Yeah. We convinced her to stay. And so now she's finishing up her shopping. I'm not worried about my competition. You know, the other two ladies seem very nice. Um, I'm a little bit older than they are, and I definitely know who Josephine Baker is. I have a poster of her in my home, so um, I think if any advantage, it's just I actually know who she is, and when I heard Beyonce Baker, I thought Josephine Baker, I just wasn't certain if that was in fact the case. Am I gonna win? Of course I'm gonna win. I have to win. I mean, this is, this is what I do, this is my nature, this is my passion. I'm here to win. I'm here to do what I came to do. What I need to do and what I need to find to get my look together, and I'm sure I'll have plenty of opportunity to see what it is they've come up with, but right now I've got to be focused. My competition, they are beautiful, and I think that uh, it's going to be, you know, a really close, you know, it's going to be a very big challenge. I think the contestants should be worried about my eye. I have a very sharp eye. The time. Even though I'm nervous, I, I think that my chances of, you know, making this happen is good. I believe fashion, style. You said don't interrupt, so let me talk. Um, yeah. um, hi, I'm the host and the producer, okay? And it's still about respect. Um. The shopping is done. And now we're here at our photo shoot location, the Galapagos Art Space in Brooklyn, New York. Let's meet our My Model Glam team. We have celebrity makeup artists, D'Angelo Thompson and Aisha Ferguson. We also have celebrity hairstylist, Hadia Barbell, and her assistant, Danielle Williams. They're gonna be directed by and work with our team of contestants to bring their vision to life. Now let's meet our models. Hi, I'm Monica. Hello, Monica, Aisha. Nice to meet you. Hi, Monica. how are you? I'm D'Angelo. Nice to meet you. So what's your vision today? Well, I want to go for a more elegant look, so I want to really focus on her eye. Okay. And do a long lash, a really long mm. lash, okay. and a okay. nice red lip. What are you thinking of for her eyes? Well, she already has really long lashes, I just noticed. But I really want to focus on the lashes. Okay. okay. When you think of Beyonce, you think more glowy. Mm -hmm. Definitely the lashes, we can do that. The lip, I may want to change. Okay. What do you think? Well, then let's, I, you know what, I'm really focused on, I do want to do the red lip, so if we have okay. to take the eye down for the red lip, I would be, okay. that would be great. Something like a really natural eye. Okay. So you might want to keep the eye very neutral. Okay. Um, maybe just some brown, some peaches, just to open it up and tie that into the soft cheek. Sounds yeah. good to me. So we'll do it for you. Okay. All right, sounds good. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Is it pretty simple that you're going for, is it, or do you want to add a little bit more to it? Very... Because you said something here in the middle, so I'm trying to get more of an yeah, understanding. Yeah, I want to add, I want it to be very like elegant, but I want it to be, uh, add some drama in there, definitely. Okay, so then I She's understand how. She's gonna have a red lip, and then, you know, I'm thinking, you know, 1930s, maybe have a slicky swoop looking thing. I don't know exactly what I want to happen here, but I think maybe you could create something. I pretty much have an idea exactly what you want to have. Okay, wonderful, so let's make this happen. All right. Okay. All right, great. Thanks. Can you please tell me exactly what you want me to focus on and feature in your shots? Um, I want it to be very like classy, like um, kind of like 1930s. Like just focus on the beauty of like she has really beautiful eyes. Even like with the microphone, I don't want her thing, and I want it to be like more her eyes, more like just steel shots, I guess. Great. So I'm gonna go ahead and start right now. Give me expressions with your hands. Yeah. You can talk to her so she can hear you. Okay. Don't whisper. All right, sorry. Yeah. Can I have expression from you? You're singing, give me your hand, use your hand. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, now if I could get you down on the floor, put your legs out to the side. Monica, don't forget, this is Beyonce and Josephine Baker. Uh -huh. So you have to bring those elements into the shoot. You've got a really strong look, but you have to really bring it to life. You're giving some bumps. 
Beyonce's edge. I'm good. I think we nailed Leaning it. towards me. Leaning towards me. Like you're a kissing pose. Like, yeah. Give me that. Sweet, sweet. Wow. Okay, so what are we thinking today for our thing? Um, we're thinking I'd like dewy, sort of glowy as mm. an overall look. Okay. Okay. Um, for the eyes, I really want to play a prize. Justine okay. Baker had really big mm -hmm. eyes that kind of popped out at you. Okay. Um, so I'd like to do some some bronze and gold with maybe a little purple or something to funk it up a bit. Okay. Not anything okay. crazy, but just to, to bring her eyes out. Mm -hmm. um, definitely black liner on okay. top. Okay. And uh, lashes. Okay. okay. Big lashes to okay. really pop her eyes out. We're looking top and bottom lashes. Look at I it. don't know about bottom. That might be a bit much. Bit much. Mm -hmm. But I like the idea of the gold bronzy. We'll definitely create that, especially with her complexion. It's beautiful. I think beautiful. it'll look really pretty. Yeah. Let's do some blush and bronzer combined. I mean, I want her to look natural and glowy, but uh, mm -hmm. t taking a step back a bit okay. so that we see okay. some of the Josephine Baker coming through. Okay. Okay, great. Wow. I'm excited about her look. Yeah, your vision is really clear, so we'll I'm create sure it for you. I'm sure you all can make it come to, come we'll to life. We will. know what you want, so it's easy to do. Well, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Great. Thank you so Thanks. much. Bye-bye. So tell me, what, what are your ideas about her hair today? Well, I love Samaya's hair naturally. I think it's really beautiful. But I don't think it's going to work for the look that I'm going for. What I'd like to do is um, either blow it out, which just might be a lot of work. But, so maybe we can put a wig on. Mm, ah, you're talking my language. <laughs> you're talking my language. What's the overall style you're going for? Well, though? what I'd really like to do is I'd want it to be swooping to the side. Um, and I'd like to do finger waves on the side if that's possible. I want this to be really dramatic and then have it be full on the bottom. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll give you your glamour. Um, I'm thinking maybe we'll do something with, we'll keep the hair big as you want it, but we'll tease out the curls. So okay. we'll do, we'll curl the hair, we'll tease it, but we'll keep your bang very dramatic and very sultry. Because I Perfect. think that adds the Josephine Baker aspect to it. Sounds great. Okay. Okay. All right. Make it work. Thank you. <laughs> Make it work. <laughs> Hi, stylist. I'm Hi, Garfield. I'm You're a photographer today. Garfield, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. So now, what you want me to feature for you on, in these shots? I want to get some full body shots. Okay. Um, we're, sort, we're, we're Beyonce kind of channeling Josephine Baker. Okay. Um, so I want that look to come across. Awesome. Yeah. Great. Okay, you know what? I need you to get her full body. Okay. Go back to that pose. That was fantastic. Oh, great. Yeah. So uh, these are full body? All full body. Frame so far. Can I'm somebody awesome. hand me those um, leopard print shoes? Stylist, that's a beautiful dress. I like that. Thank you. So Josephine Baker was really cutesy, was known for her banana leaf skirt, and she did a lot like this when she danced. Yeah. Give me, give me hands do, and hold. Now do like a sultry Beyonce one. Okay, awesome. That's great. That's, yeah, oh, yeah. That's, that's a lot of attitude. I like. My vision for today is to um, keep it kind of natural. Okay. Because she has pretty, flawless skin like Beyonce, mm -hmm. and um, I wanted to take it back a little retro and okay. get rouge on okay. the cheek. I like the terminology, Rouge. Rouge. That's great. <laughs> the, the, um, I want to emphasize her cheeks. Okay. And um, for her lip, I want to um, I want to do a, like a, a soft lip. Okay, like okay. what color? Maybe like a peachy kind oh, of Oh, that's color. nice. That's okay. pretty. So you just want her just glossy, glowy skin, yeah. you know, bright eyes. Uh -huh. You want lashes? Or? Yes, definitely. Okay. okay. Um, heavy lashes. Okay. I want that to be the focal point as well. And okay. um, where's your baker in here? Where's your Josephine Baker? I see the Beyonce on the yeah, rouge. Definitely. The, the rouge. rouge. Okay. So we got the rouge, mm -hmm. the peach gloss, mm -hmm. and the gold. Okay. With yeah. lashes. Lashes. Okay. A lot of lashes. And eyeliner. We'll work it okay. for sure. Thank Bye. you. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Bye -bye. Cool. My vision today for La, um, I was thinking, let's take it back a little. I don't know, this is kind of crazy, but I'm kind of thinking like a wave, kind of like a finger wave in the front 
and like pin curls, like, because I know that was very popular. Okay. To when Josephine Baker's time. I don't know if that's too ambitious or. Oh, nothing's too ambitious. <laughs> Maybe you should do something a little different. Maybe leave it uh, more of a fuller look out in this part over here. You know, you could incorporate the okay, pin so curls. you can make it a little big then value. I'm thinking, I'm thinking that that should that, do it for me. Work. That should do it for yeah, you too. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> I'm excited about that. Thing. Okay. So good. I'm glad we could come to a compromise. Yeah. Make it happen. <laughs> Thank you. All right. First of all, you have a beautiful model. Yes, she's gorgeous. And you have a team of hair and makeup that is just splendid. Yeah, they've you rented your model well. What would you like me to feature today? The dress is just so crazy. Like, it's so Josephine Baker and just so 2030s, that whole black era. Yeah. Okay. Feel free to direct her. Okay. And check your shots on the screen here. Okay. Oh, model, that's awesome. Yeah. Out a little. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I want the mic. I want you with the mic right now. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. Yeah. I like that very much. Nine minutes. Okay. We filled up a lot of time changing clothes. Yeah. It's it like Jay-Z said, change clothes and go. Right. Yeah. So that's just, I want that to be sultry. Yeah. Like sexy. Bring okay. one of them up. Like kind of bend in. But yeah. Like you making love to the camera, like this sensual. Awesome. Hello, ladies. Hi. So this week, you guys' challenge was Beyonce Baker. But before I get into the theme and what you guys did for your photo shoot, I want to introduce you to my judges. First, we have Ez, noted fashion photographer. Hey. Next we have Daphne DeValle from Trace Magazine. Hey, hey, hey. And this week's guest judge is lifestyle, beauty, and fashion extraordinaire, Daisy Llewellyn. She's been an editor for Glamour and Style and Essence Magazine. Thank you so much for coming today. Thank you, Beth. She looks adorable. So let's jump right into it. Your theme this week was Beyonce Baker. So we're gonna start with you, LaMonica. Um, first thing I looked at when I saw your um, contact sheets for your hair and makeup, I think you did an amazing job. I think you did uh, a good job of incorporating both of those personalities together while giving it some La Monica, so to say. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. What Thank you, guys you very think? much. I think it was really good. I love the bangs and the side ponytail and the red lips. I think it was, you made some really good decisions. Thank you very Is much. Is it because you're wearing red lips today, Daphne? <laughs> well, that might be it, but her red <laughs> lips don't look as good as mine, so. But it, was, it, look, it, really, it looks really good. That looks almost like a cover shot. Like that's a really good, I love that hair and makeup especially. Thank you, thank you. Let me just tell you one thing. Beyonce Knoll, mm -hmm. okay? You have to know her, okay? Now you have a store like Century 21 that's huge, mm -hmm. okay? Most stylists, when they begin, they don't have a store like Century 21, okay? They have to beg, borrow, or sew, or whatever to create a look mm -hmm. that's rich. Mm -hmm. This look, for me, does not look rich. It's hurting me. Beyonce and all, she's mega. She dresses to the T. Mm -hmm. Joseph, you don't know who Josephine Baker is? Mm -hmm. My God! You guys gotta look, wanting to be stylists, you guys gotta look at books. You gotta look at movies. I mean, the woman is known around the world. Ask a French person, mm -hmm. any European, they're gonna tell you who Josephine Baker is. Mm -hmm. It's embarrassing that you don't know a black icon like Josephine Baker. I never told you I didn't know her, I said I didn't know a lot about her. I don't wanna really get into that subject about why I don't you, know. That means you to don't get know her. If, if you don't know a lot about her, she's you, wanting to be a stylist and not knowing an icon like Josephine Baker, mm -hmm. Or, I mean, for me, it just doesn't do it. It's upsetting. It's really upsetting. She's just, she's one of the, the, the biggest icons we have for black women. Mm -hmm. She definitely was a, a huge activist. She had a lot of odds against her. I know who she her. is, I did my she research. She was sh short, so to say, and she muscled through all of that. She brought provocateur with a, a sense of class. 
to the screen that had never been done before. Mm -hmm. He took Penn up to a whole different level. So I want to give you guys a little bit of feedback about what happened at the shoot. Um, little did you know we had B-roll shooting and your style maven Bevy was there. And I understand that LaMonica had a, a bit of a breakdown. She stopped production for two hours. And, Why? Uh, <laughs> Cut this <laughs> um, she I stopped production for two hours. Like, no, that's not true. And I don't want to go through with it. We're not going to tell the truth here. That's not cool. I didn't stop production for two hours. So my my production my didn't stop. Um, in, in, for in two hours? At no. all. No, I, we could talk about what happened. Yes, I would saying, like but to talk now about the, what now the Now the whole thing is being like, drawn out. It wasn't two hours. Well, That's my thing. It's a let time thing. Let's be completely honest. And then I'll give you an opportunity to defend okay. yourself, okay? Let's be honest. So, um, I'm going by what I was told. By the I'm saying, I'm, that's why I'm looking at them. I'm not even looking it at you when I'm them, talking. It wasn't them. It was Beverly Love. Okay, well, that wasn't true. Okay, Two so hours I'm going to give true. you an opportunity to comment in a second, okay? Okay. Whether it was stopping the production for two hours, ten minutes, things like that. When you're on set, everybody's a lot of money. Models, don't make twenty dollars an hour. La Monica, your attitude right now is really like pissing me off. Like, why are you looking all over the place? Like, it's not right. even. We're trying it doesn't to have to be you. that way. It really doesn't. We're trying to help you because the thing is, when you're working with people that are making a lot of money, because sometimes you know a girl's getting paid ten thousand dollars for the day. Sometimes she's getting paid fifty thousand for the day. Stopping a shoot for ten minutes. What if the light? is leaving and you're stopping the shoot for that 10 minutes that that light was there. You lost $50,000 for the client because they didn't get the shot. And there's been times that I've been on location that I had to run to the location because it was pouring rain. I couldn't afford somebody not saying, oh no, we gotta stop. I can't afford that. Nobody can. Negativity is just unacceptable, period. I, you know what, I don't even, want to grace you with any kind of a constructive criticism because obviously you don't take it. Really? And if I was to give you constructive cool. criticism, it would do you no good. I don't have a problem with constructive criticism. Actually, I respect it very much as far as my work goes because this is what the show is about. As far as what happened yesterday, I just like to talk honestly. So that's I don't why, have a problem that, talking about the and situation. And that's the reason why I asked for your... See, you your... said don't interrupt, so let me talk. Um, yeah. um, Hi, I'm the host and a producer, okay? And it's still about respect. Um... Okay, so we're gonna move away from you and move right on to you, Miss Kaylin. Um, when, I, when you were given your theme and you read the letter and you were told, Beyonce Baker, what did you, what did that do to you? Well, it threw me off a little bit, but once I had a moment to think about it, um, what I thought about in terms of their similarities is that they are both very confident women and performers, and each really exudes sexiness, sultriness, sensual, so I wanted to come up with a look that um, conveyed all of that, okay. sort of a combination of the two. I kind of wanted Beyonce channeling Josephine Baker. Okay. And so, um, at Century 21, what pieces did you pull? And with the hair and makeup, what did you basically direct them to do to kind of get your feel? At Century 21, I was looking for pieces um, that would kind of give you a 20s or 30s feel. Okay. I mean, everybody knows Josephine Baker for her banana skirt. That's yes, what is. she's <laughs> famous for. I have a poster in my bathroom of her in the banana skirt. But she also was a chanteuse and she was world renowned for her beautiful singing voice and wore a lot of long, elegant, beautifully embellished dresses. And so when I came across this dress, what struck me was that it had the sort of same silhouette as what Josephine Baker would have worn years ago, but it had an updated twist on it. It, it, it had the embellishment that I wanted to get across, um, but it had a neckline similar to what Beyonce is known for. It had beautiful sleeves, sort of butterfly kimono type sleeves, and a um, kind of flowing skirt at the bottom. And, and the look to me was, was really what I had in my head. In terms of hair and makeup, I wanted to do something that 
would remind folks of Josephine Baker, but still allow the Beyonce to come out. Mm -hmm. So that's why I chose the, you know, the, the severe swoop to the side. But I wanted the, the bottom to be really full in the way that we're typically used to seeing Beyonce's hair. And for the makeup, um, I went with Beyonce's sort of soft, glowy, dewy kind of look, very natural. But I wanted to play up the eyes because okay. when I remember seeing Josephine Baker, I remember the eyes kind of popping out. So um, that's what I asked the makeup folks to do, and I think they did a fantastic job. So I got a message from Bevy that told me how your shoot went. And um, I'm gonna start at Century 21, because that's where most of your comments came from. Okay. Um, that you were basically pulling things that were more you, that more embody you slash Beyonce slash Josephine. And she instructed you that, you know, this is a little more Kaylin, less the theme. But you took that really well. You took that, you put all those pieces back, you took her criticism, and you went out and you got some hot stuff. And I appreciate that, I think that's really good. It's one thing to not really understand what to pull, but when you're given criticism to take it really well, that's good. That's not surprising. Just the mannerism that she exudes, yeah. um, I can tell. She's very polite, she's very there. Uh, which is good, which I prefer working with somebody that can take criticism and that I can tell her, look, this doesn't work, because we're working as a team. Right. So basically, if I'm telling you it doesn't work, girl, we're gonna get in trouble, we're, I won't be able to hire you. As much as I like you, I can't hire you. So you gotta go and hustle, okay? And she did, she, and she, she did, she, did. she yeah. really did. I think it's important as a stylist, um, especially when you're going out to different magazines, when you're with an agency, a lot of times they pick you because your work has a certain character about it. And I think it's good that you bring your own style to your work because it puts a stamp on it. And when we think of certain stories, we'll say, okay, Kaylin, I think she would be the best one to do this story. Like she'd knock it out by deadline and we'd be good. You know what I mean? So it's good to do that, but at the same time, you should just keep your concept in mind. And when it's time to pull yourself out of the shoe, get to pull it, get to pull it, and then but come to us much. with something. Yeah, not too yeah. much, but and then come to us with something that's nice and finished, a good enough mix where we can deal with it. You know what I mean? But I think you're on the road, the pathway to much success. Yeah. Much success. Because she looks like an editor. Yes, she looks she like an like editor. Well, she she's, has, a, she's a lawyer, you guys. I want to give you a little bit of background. Oh, she, oh, she was oh we got to be not. careful. <laughs> she might sue us. Be careful what you say. <laughs> You changed my comment. <laughs> so that, that, that mouthpiece definitely. Um, but that works. Yeah, you know, it works. That, you can see that, you know, because like you said, you're, you're an attorney. That's a, a different field, but you can take being able to justify things and being able to allocate certain things. You can use those kinds of talents within fashion. And it's great that you are aware of the entire creative direction because that is like super important. And we can see you're really creatively directed in your look. <laughs> Thank you. So, um, so what do you think about Bevy's comment and, and, and bringing yourself um, into You know what, Bevy's comments were right on the mark. I mean, the moment she said it to me, I looked at what I had in my hands <laughs> and thought, she's right, this is stuff I would wear. It's yeah. not necessarily what I should be going for in this right. challenge. So I, I took it to heart and I put everything back and started over. And that's really important. I know a lot of times when, I, when I'm shooting and the shoot might be something that's not Eva at all, but I wanna do Eva. But I can't, because it's not about Eva right now. We're doing the cover of Bridal Magazine. So it has nothing to do with Eva. Put the dress on. And I have to kind of erase myself from there, give them my face, and become a hanger. Right. So at the end of the day, I think you, you, you did really well on the shoot, directing the shoot. Bevy's comments were amazing. And contrary to the rest of the judges, <laughs> I enjoyed a, where you were going with what you were doing. I, I, I loved your home frame of mind. Thank you. La Monica, it was very difficult for us to get to your photo shoot because you have by far one of the worst attitudes we've dealt with on set. Okay, so on to you, Ms. Siobhan. When you got the letter and the challenge, what, what does that mean to you and what did you plan to, how did you interpret it? It was my first interpretation. I was just thinking like, oh my God, like I, I was excited because I love Beyonce. Me too. Like, <laughs> love her. So it was kind of tricky at first, just thinking like, okay, how am I gonna incorporate it to be now, like, because I was thinking like, okay, it might be too Josephine mm -hmm. or it might be too Beyonce. Mm -hmm. So, um, it was a challenge. 
It really, really was. Because Century 21 was like <laughs> overwhelming. So yeah. um, I, just, I just went with the flow. I um, basically stumbled across the dress. Okay. And um, when I saw the dress, it had like the flapper, the 20s flapper feel. It was, it was big and shapeless kind of, so I really had to work with it. But when I saw the colors, like it gave, it, the, the shape of it gave the um, Josephine feel, mm -hmm. but the shingles and stuff and the colors, as vibrant as it was, it came across like Beyonce to me. So it was like the bronze and the gold, and I, I mean, I fell in love with it. Yeah. I so with, with the hair and makeup, what, what did you instruct the Mavens to do with the hair and makeup to more embody your envision? Okay, now to be honest, I'm um, not the best with like makeup. Okay. But I was, um, I asked them to keep her kind of fresh, like Beyonce always mm -hmm. is, and I asked them to do like a rouge. Like I, she has nice cheekbones, mm -hmm. so I wanted them to emphasize her cheeks, okay. and I wanted them to give her like. Not too much of a bow lip because I knew that um, the first contestant, LaMonica, was using a red lip. So I didn't, I wanted to kind of deviate from that. So I gave her her own look with like a, um, a plum kind of lip. Look, okay. And we went from there. Well, your picture out of all of them was the one that stuck out to me in the beginning. I looked at it and that's it. I love the hair, I love the makeup, I love the dress. Going through all your contacts, because I had a really hard time choosing which one best projected what you were bringing to the table. I think you did a really good job. And um, I understand you really did direct. You went in, you didn't let too many people overpower you, and you did your job. What do you guys think about this photo? Well, baby, take a look at me, okay? I've been wearing the glasses all day. Oh, okay. God! <laughs> now, the glasses, the glasses come, come off! off of you. And let me tell you, I don't know what the dress looks like, what the shape is or anything. I see the shimmer yes, that's glamour. giving me glamour. I see the position, okay? That could be Beyonce's or, you know, going on the floor with that video. Right. And that also could be very Josephine yes. Baker. So you know what? You had good sense of direction. And I like your honesty about, I'm not much about hair and makeup, because you know what? That shows that you were able to convey with the hair and makeup people mm -hmm. that, hey, help me. Yeah. You know, yeah. because you know what? When you come to somebody and say, I need help, then you know what? That's perfect. It's OK. It's, it's okay, okay to need help. To it it's is. a team. It's so kudos, Thank my glasses you. are off. Thank Daisy, you. what do you think about this picture? I personally, I didn't like this dress at all, but I love the photograph and I think that it, it conveys Josephine meets Beyonce. I don't have to like the dress to, to, get, the, right. to get the idea because everyone right. has a different style. But I see the Beyonce, like you said, and it, it really, really comes across and I like her positioning and I just think that you, you, you did a great job in conveying both. Thank you. So, and your style is not bad at baby, all. Baby, those Louboutins. Thank you. Honey, uh, anybody with leather? Oh, baby. Thank you. Watch your back because. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get that. I live for it. <laughs> so, Daphne, what do you think about this photo? I love the photo, especially the posing. Another thing, just like, just like Kayla's photo stood out with the mic, that photo stood out with me with the posing. And I think if I turn a page and look at that photo, it would stand out really well. The dress is really great. I really love that dress. I think Beyonce would wear it, and I think the the flowy, the strips, the fabric, and things that are on it, I think that's very Josephine Baker. I can still see her in that. The hair is a little modern to me. Not the Beyonce, not the Josephine, which is modern, kind of cover of a perm box kind of hair. But at the same time, you did your thing and you stuck with the concept. I would put it in trade, I would. Okay, so I want to give you guys a little feedback because this was uh, actually a difficult week for Miss Siobhan. Miss Siobhan lost her father on Friday mm. with cancer, and she still decided to work with us. Thank you. I'm gonna cry. Thank you very much. Um, that that shows a lot about you and a lot about your character. Yeah, he wanted me to come. He wanted yeah. Me to come. So Siobhan, what do you think about um, not only our commentary but Bevy's commentary? Bevy, she was pretty helpful. She was. She told me, um, she put me like, she put my mind frame on track. Okay. She told me like, she thought about, she looked at the dress, but she's like, I don't think that this is realistic. And so I thought about it and I innovated me into it. I made a way to make it Beyonce and Josephine Baker. Like I said, I had to work with the dress. <laughs> 
It was crazy because I had bought a long necklace. I had pulled a long necklace and I used that actually as a belt to cinch it, to create the look. And the belt wow. didn't really work. Well, the necklace didn't really work, so I had to take a ponytail holder and wrap it around to See? close it together. Mm. Creative. Yeah. 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 Go ahead, John. Just like Ebony said. Yeah. And you don't know hair and makeup. <laughs> Depending on the genre of models, you might have top models that will wear, you know, a piece of plastic and not even care. But maybe you're starting off with girls who are not so comfortable, you know, you have to say, I know your feet hurt. And I still know. don't understand those girls. I'm yeah, sorry. it's like, p put this on. Like, honestly, yeah, I don't care if you don't like, yeah, just shut up, you know? So I think it's great that you work with her and you work with her size because you have to just be able to work with anything. Your dress might rip, the, the uh, messenger service, Oh God, at Glamour, it was like, oh, our life is on the line because the messengers are late because it's raining. Like, okay, you know, so you have to be able to like work out. I just, sorry, personal, little personal flashback messengers there. Messengers are the worst. Oh yeah. God, yeah. yeah. But I really, I really, 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 really admire the fact that you worked with what you had and you did a great job. Thank you. Well, you guys, you've heard our commentary on your photos and now it's time for us to deliberate. And when you come back, we'll decide if you've got style. Hello, ladies. Hi. So, we have deliberated, the judges and I, and we've decided which one of you guys will be tonight's winner. But before I announce that, let's recap your photo shoots. La Monica, it was very difficult for us to get to your photo shoot because you have by far one of the worst attitudes we've dealt with on set. And I was trying to get my judges to help me. Let's critique the shoot. But it was hard for them to get past your attitude, which is a lot of times the beginning part of your resume for a job. Miss Kaylin, we love you, the fact that you're so refined. The judges and I, we, we love the way you speak. We love the way you present yourself. They have a slight problem with knowing if you're you being so refined won't transfer to your more edgier projects that you will have. And that's one of our issues. Nevertheless, I love your presentation. I think you're a beautiful woman and I love the way your prop, that's uh, Daphne's favorite. I think you went somewhere with yours. And Miss Siobhan, I asked my judges to try to be, and try not to be biased with, in lieu of what you're going through and what happened to judge you on your work. And they loved your work. I loved your work. I love the colors. I, I, I just like everything all together. I think you did a really good job at putting your vision across. And I love the fact that you stuck to what you knew and what you knew was right. And a lot of times you have it in your head and you know where you want to go with it, but if other people can't feel it, if it's not tangible enough for them, then they might not trust you. So you have to have enough trust in yourself what you did because this is amazing. But there can only be one winner. Before I announce the winner, I want you guys to know that this was a very difficult deliberation. It was. Um, we've never had so, so many different opinions and feelings about each person. Um, but nevertheless, we have chosen one of you. And Siobhan, baby, you've got style. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. Thank you you guys are beautiful. I was worried like the whole time during the challenge, like, cause I knew the dress, I was confident in the dress. When I saw it, and even though Bevy told me, you know, no, you know, think about it, or this isn't, you know, true to what Beyonce might wear, I still knew that the dress would work for me. The hair and makeup for La Monica was great. Um, Kaylin's model looked more Beyonce than she did Josephine Baker. So I, I totally agree, agree with them 100% with what they said. During the challenge, um, I, I, I thought I stood a pretty good chance of winning. Like I said, when I picked the dress, I mean, I just, I mean, it said, it spoke to me. It spoke to me, like regardless of what Baby told me, it spoke to me. 
it said this is it. Like this can give you what you want. Now, I got a little nervous during the, prior to the photo shoot because when I put it on her, it was like, uh, I was like on pins and needles trying to make it work. What's next is, I mean, it's introducing me to America. So I don't know, I don't know what's gonna come with it. Um, it's definitely a platform in my career. And um, I think it's positive. I think only positive things can come from it. And I just, I'm excited. I'm excited to just, like I said, begin this new chapter. My name is Siobhan and I've got style.